Okay. Huh. Hello. Today, I show you another stupid purchase of mine. Uh, just recently won an auction for about 18 bucks for three electronic or electric adding machines. There is no electronics inside of this apart from a transformer and a motor. It's all driving a mechanism, a mechanical adding machine in this case. Um, I haven't had a chance to open up this Remington Rand DX, and I haven't done a huge amount of research on it, but I believe that it is a keyed cylinder, uh, essentially an adding machine that just cumulatively adds and adds and adds to perform all of the four major operations, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Uh, right now, this is the only one of the three that I've bought that is working. I've also got a Burroughs adding machine. Uh, little fun fact that Burroughs is from Detroit. I didn't know that, but that's quite cool. I also have a Frieden DW10. The Frieden is able to move the carriage, but will not disengage from attempting to move the carriage back to idle. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it apart from I think everything's just seized up. A lot of the gears are kind of slow to move and a lot of the levers aren't quite actuating the way they're supposed to. However, this RAND uh, calculator here is working fine. And here, let me get a couple new lines here. As you can see, the uh, paper is advancing as you would expect. And you can probably just make out here, and I'm sure I'll do a little picture in picture. Uh, this is actually able to print still. If we, let's say, add in, eh, let's say 1, so 1.00. We'll put that in, and then let's add, I don't know, 3. We do that. And it performs the calculation. It is quite cool. I gotta admit, as a sucker for, as you already know, with the jukebox and everything else, I love electromechanical devices. They are so infinitely fascinating to me, and these are just the densest, biggest packages of electromechanical bits and bobs that you could ever imagine. This is absolute heaven. I cannot wait, however, to get that Frieden operational. I know that I fell in love with these machines after watching Curious Mark's uh, STW-10 Frieden uh, demonstrations. Um, I'm not sure if I can do the Frieden March or not, but I really hope I can. Uh, other than that, though, I'm still learning actually how to use this machine. I'm not entirely certain how to use this multiplication lever. Uh, you can go up or down. Uh, this is some sort of dividend entry or, you know, some sort of divide one touch function, but I'm not entirely certain how to use it. Uh, a lot of this is kind of confusing. So I'm going to figure out more about these machines. I'm already doing a little bit of research. I want to put together a proper video. Uh, so stay tuned. Expect more of these three. Hopefully I can actually fix the Burroughs and the Frieden, or at least the Frieden. Uh, I have a few more restoration videos that I want to do soon as well, including the IBM 5155. I have a Nakamichi 600 tape deck that's in excellent condition, except for the belts have perished, as you'd expect. Um, I'm still working on the jukebox. I've added in this stereo console that you can see underneath the Remington Rand DX here. I'm working on refinishing the wood slowly. There's quite a few spots that have been water damaged over the years. It's in pretty good shape, but eh, the wood needs a restore. Other than that, though, you can expect to hear more from me soon. I've got a song that I've been working on as well. That's it for me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so hang there for a second. Dope. That work? Mm hmm Shit.